Okay, good morning everyone. What you're, what you're going to do is to answer what's in under lesson 3. So, uh, you will read first the situation here, which is don't read, don't read from the internet that sounds enhance the growth of plants. As a plantito, he is, a, he is very curious on how he can enhance his plants on the garden. He wants to test if increasing sounds will really affect the growth of his plants. So what you're going to do, you will first formulate a problem statement from the situation. So what is the independent variable in the situation and what is the dependent variable in the situation? What factors must be considered constant for this problem? So, ibig sabihin po natin, mapaformulate kayo ng problem statement from the situation. So, gagawa kayo ng question in a question statement in a question form tungkol doon sa situation. Example, uh, will the increasing sound really affect the growth of his plants? So, that is the question that you can write. Pwede rin kayo mag-isip na ibang question aside from that. Letter B. What is the independent variable in this situation? Ano ba yung independent variable? Ano yung gusto nyo i-test? Gusto nyo bang i-test kung talagang nakaka-affect to yung sound, yung increasing sound to the growth of the plants? O may iba pa ba? So, ano yung gusto mong i-manipulate? Ano yung gusto mong pag-aralan dito sa situation na to? Letter C. What is the dependent variable in the situation? So, what are the effects or result that you are looking forward to. Ano ba yung mga resulta na gusto mong malaman? Yun yung susulat na dyan. Gusto na rin. Gusto mong malaman epekto ng sound dun sa growth ng plants. Yun. Example lang yun. Pero kung may maisip kayong iba, can write it down. Better D, what factors must be considered constant for this problem? Ano yung mga factors na ikinoconsider natin as constant for the problem? Okay. Kailangan ba pare-perehas ng klase ng halaman o magkakaiba? Do they need to be in or exposed in the same amount of volume of music or not? So it's up to you. So you're going to write your answers there sa space. So if you have a question, can you like this screen recording? If you do not have a question, please heart this screen recording. Thank you. Okay. Another task that you're going to do would be lesson 3, what's new, this one. So after formulating the problem statement, now it's time for us to do our educated guess or what we call hypothesis. So another term for hypothesis would be educated guess, meaning we are guessing, nangahula tayo ng may basihan. Yun yung ibig sabihin natin ng hypothesis. So but before we formulate our hypothesis, let us have a very simple exercise. So, there are some pictures below of situations. Make a guess, hypothesis, or intelligent guess on why situations happen. So, sasabihin nyo na kung bakit nangyari yan, situation na yan. Example, number one, sa tingin nyo, bakit umiiyak yung BP? So, you will just write down your guess or intelligent guess or educated guess or what we call hypothesis. Pwede nyo sabihin the baby, the baby is crying. Because of hunger. Mare, kagutom. So, yan, kumain. So, ganun din yung number 2. Yan, may mga nakasampay na damit. Magpigay lang kayo ng educated guess. And then, so number 3. So, that would be for what's new. You'll just formulate guesses on what they are doing. Okay? Then, I want you to read what is it. Basahin nyo lang. So, this, uh, the topic here in what is it would be all about hypothesis or the educated guess. So, an ano ibig sabihin natin ng hypothesis? It is a possible answer. Possible. Possible. So, hindi pa yun yung sagot, pero possible yun yung sagot o solution dun sa question mo. Specifically, in the scientific question or problem. So, it must be based on scientific knowledge and it must be logical and falsifiable. So, when we say falsifiable class, it means that it is possible to make observations that would disprove that hypothesis. Ibig sabihin, kaya natin 
malaman kung tama ba yung hypothesis natin o hindi. Ibig sabihin, testable siya. Kaya ba natin makapag-experiment okay, using that hypothesis? Okay. Kung kaya, pwede natin gamitin yan as our educated guess of, to answer the questions that we have. So, for example, if we will go back to our problem in lesson 2 about the appearance. Yan, yan ang problema natin in lesson 2. Appearance of fried egg and the time it takes to cook it. To cook it, we can formulate certain guesses about the solution or problem. So, pwede natin hulaan na kapag mas matagal syempre, lutuin yung itlog. Siyempre, mas magiging fried o mas luto ang kanyang appearance. Or the other way around. Kapag may, mas maikling time naman natin siya niluto, siyempre, parang mas hindi siya maluluto maigi. ba? So, the hypothesis is the one that we test when we design in the experiment. So, kung may problem tayo at meron tayong educated guess o may naisip tayong posibleng sagot, Doon sa ating tanong, yan yung itetest natin sa mismong experiment natin. Itetest natin, tama ba tong hula ko? Tama ba tong educated guess ko? Tama ba tong hypothesis ko? Yan. Pwede naman ang sagot na hindi. Pwede na yung sab sabihin na tama. Depende yan sa magiging resulta ng experiment mo. Okay? So, for example, you are curious if the rate of steering affects the rate of dissolving of a certain powder juice drink. What hypothesis can we give? I will give you a simple format of writing the hypothesis. So, ito yung format na sinasabi natin. In writing the hypothesis, so, lagi natin ginagamit yung if-then format. Ibig sabihin, example, if we stir the water in powder juice quickly, then the powder juice will dissol dissolve fa faster. So, kung tatagalugin natin, kung hahaluin natin yung powder juice ng mapilis, ang mangyayari, edi, ang powder juice ay matutunaw ng mapilis. Parang ano, bibigyan mo agad na a possible result yung statement mo. Kasi in hypothesis, that's what you're doing. Mang magbibigay ka ng sitwasyon, tapos ibibigay mo yung possible uh, possible result. So, example, naisip mo, kung piprituhin natin ng matagal yung itlog, if we're going to fry the egg longer, then it could be burnt. Okay. Kung lulutuin natin ng matagal, baka siya ay masunog. So, ganun yung format natin. If. And then, then. Okay. If the fried egg is uh, cooked longer, then, yeah, yung salitang then, it could be burned. Burned. Pwede yung siya masunog kung lulutuin siya ng matagal. Ayan. So that is how you write your hypothesis. Ito naman yung pagde-design nyo ng experiment. Designing your experiment involves a step-by-step -step approach on how we can answer our problem and prove our hypothesis, whether to accept it. So, may dalawa yan. Yung hypothesis nyo, magbibigay kayo ng educated guess. So, it's a, you're going to test whether to accept it. Tatanggapin mo ba yung hula mo? O hindi kasi mali. Ayun. So, ito yung pagde-design natin na experiment will depend on our variables. So, nat-discuss naman natin yung independent, dependent, tsaka constant variables. So, we need to maintain all the constant variables constant. So, may maintain lang natin kung ano yung kailangan natin um, i-prepare ng materials as constant variable. Para yung resulta natin ay malino na malino. And that again, that is what we call fair test or fair testing. So for example, for the egg, for the fried egg problem, ayan, yung problema natin sa fried egg, we will design our experiment by looking back at the variables. The independent variables, ayan, is the length of time that the egg will cook. 
the dependent variable, yung resulta na gusto mong malaman, ano nga ba ang magiging appearance ng egg kung ilulutuin natin siya sa specific time. Ang constant variable, yun yung mga dapat natin i-consider para maging fair ang testing natin. Yung type of oil, yung pan to be used, temperature of flame and pan, yung mga size ng eggs or type of eggs, dapat pare parehas. Hindi pwedeng iba yung oil na gagamitin mo. Okay, dapat pare-parehas na pan kung ano yung pen na ginamit mo ng punong pagluluto mo sa isang itlog, ganun din ang gagamitin mo. Dapat kung ano yung temperature niya, pare-parehas. Hindi pwede isa, mahina isa, malakas. Dapat pare-parehas din sana ang size ng egg. So, kung magagawa kayo ng experiment, yan yung gagawin mo. So, you will write the independent, the dependent, and constant variable. So, ganito yung paggawa ha. Plus, gagawa kayo ng simple table like this. You will write down the independent variable first, the dependent, and constant variable. Then, you will write the procedure or pwede natin yun yung materials. Ano yung ba yung mga materials na gagamitin? Ayan. You will use eggs, oh, pan, eggs, fried eggs. Ayan. So, yung mga materials. Siyempre, fried eggs sa dugo na yan. So, sa procedure number one, ang gagamitin mo ay itlog. Select the eggs to be used. It must be of the same size and type. So, gagamitin natin ay eggs. Yeah. For the second procedure, ano yung gagamitin natin? Oil, pan, and egg. So, you're going to fry the egg at different times durations. The time durations must be of equal in purpose. So, 1 minute, 2 minutes, 3 minutes, 4 minutes. Yan yeah, yung second procedure natin. At ang gagamitin mo, ito, itong mga materials na yan. So, lalagay mo yung mga materials na gagamitin mo for every procedure. And third, check the appearance of the egg. So, syempre, ang magiging produkto mo dyan ay fried egg. Okay? So, you need to, you can do more trials. Ibig sabihin, hindi lang iisang beses ang paggawa ng experiment. Plus, ha, pwedeng, you can do as, ma, as many trials as you want to check. Ayan. Para ma-check talaga natin kung ang result ay consistent. Okay? And we can do also replication. So, when you say replication, it is when other people do your same experiment to verify your result. Hindi naman sa hindi ka nang titiwala sa experiment na ginawa mo. Kundi gusto mo lang malaman just to make sure whether your what you did is correct or will have the same result. Kunwari, ikaw nagluto ka, ito yung resulta. O replication, kapag yung ate mo, sinabihan mo, o oh, gusto niyang mag-try ng experiment mo, titignan mo na lang kung ganun din ba katulad sa'yo ang resulta. Okay? <clears throat> so, in what's more, so, you're going to do activity number 2, candles and diameter. So, you, your ate asks you to buy candles that will last long even in the times of electricity is fluctuating or there is a brownout. You are thinking of which among the different types of candle will last longer. So, titignan mo, ano nga ba dito? Between candle A, B, and C, ang mas tatagal. Ayan. So, what you're going to do, you will just write a problem statement for the situation. You will identify the independent, dependent, and constant variable. And from your problem statement, write a plausible hypothesis. You will make a hypothesis in the form of if and then. Example, if I use longer candle, then Ba? It will last longer. O, example lang yan. Pwede kayong gumawa ng iba pa yung hypothesis. Just make sure that the format will be in if and then format. So, if you have a question, just like this screen recording. But if you understand this a discussion regarding your activity and the discussion itself, kindly heart this screen recording. If you like this video, please subscribe. Thank you!